All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Riven Top, but this time with the most aggressive kind of setup that you can ever play with. Um, the setup is Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Shield Bash, with Bone Plating. Uh, along with this, I also took two Adaptive Force with Magic Resist, and I've also taken Ignite with a Doran's Blade. I'll show you guys how strong this is. It's a pretty strong setup uh, if you want to win the early game. Uh, this guy took Grasp on Malphite, so we can just start off with Q. Uh, if Malphite starts off with Arcane Comet, you actually want to start off with E. This is important to know. I'll see if I can cheese, uh, cheese him at level 2. I'm about to reach level... Uh, yeah. Okay, at least we got like one Q and an auto off. I actually want to get level 2 like as soon as I chased him and then pop my shield as well for the extra stack, but it's fine. They have a Hecarim jungle. But uh, keep that in consideration as well whenever we fight him. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Hecarim is coming from red buff all the way to top. Just place him like an early ward down. Go for another trade again. We have the extra adaptive force, which we normally don't have, so we do a lot more damage on this guy. Okay. Perfect. Going for another trade in between. He goes for an E, so I shield it immediately. His Qs don't do that much damage because uh, he's going for a grass version. Okay. So, every single time that this guy is going to go for a creep, we're going to follow up with a short trade every single time. Mm, looks like this guy's here. Nice one. I don't even have to use my flash. Uh, this guy's running Ghost with Smite. He's actually going to stay for another one. For what it seems. I'll see if I can go for like the, the complete LM. I'll start with a with a short trade. But I got my bone plating now. I'm gonna go for the all in. I actually wanted to get my auto attack off as well, like when I went for the all in, but it got cancelled. I'll take the push here. If we don't get a trade off on him right now, I will just buy my items and uh wait, he's actually gonna backboard. I'm gonna take the push here because I will use that to buy my next item. If he TPs now, he could freeze the wave, which we definitely don't want when we uh, play with this setup. It's probably going to freeze down here. Yeah, the wave is in a pretty bad spot. I should have pushed it faster. My bad. This is completely my bad. I could have pushed way harder than this. But it's fine. Hakrim is not here. He can't stop us yet. I just want to, like, clear out the wave and then get my way back. I don't really want to fight him. So I'll just leave it like this. I'll just accept the way it is right now. We're gonna go back. Get two long swords. Two of them. We get potions. And we get a country ward. Alright, time to get back. This is gonna be great. The wave is going to uh, build up towards me right now. So we could use that to, once again, go for trades against Malphite. We could be freezing out uh, freezing out the wave too. So like anytime he goes for a CS, we could follow with a trade as well. So there's plenty of things we can do now. Hakrim is still missing on the map. We haven't seen him. So we have no idea where he's currently at. Go for like a tiny trade. He's about to reach level 6 very soon. Keep this in mind. Because he's currently building up the wave. This wave will, will get me to level 6. Okay. Honestly, that's pretty worth it for me. He uses ultimate right now. So like the moment I use up all my potions, I get my level 6. We could probably get a kill on him with Ignite. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. Appears that he's maxing his Q from what it seems, actually. His Qs are doing more damage than I expected. So it's pretty likely that he is actually maxing it currently. I think he goes for a backboard now. Let's go for a quick push. We already have a lead against Malphite. It's definitely okay if, if we don't get a kill against Malphite early on. Uh, because we're already ahead in terms of farm. We're about two waves already ahead of him. Also, if you play against a Malphite, um, you typically never have to worry about him. Because whenever the lane ends, you can play teamfights a lot better. Um, you can farm twice as fast as a Malphite can. Eventually, you just outscale him. Doesn't matter how tanky he gets. I always have these things in mind when I play against Malphite. It just doesn't really matter what he does. So even if you get like a... Hmm. I really wonder like what he's maxing. Because I think he's maxing Q. I think. But I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, he must be maxing Q, I'm pretty sure of it. I think I can probably get a kill right here if we uh, destroy his shield against him. Let's see. He's taking down my ward right now. I actually want to try to like go for a trade and then follow up afterwards. Good. If he comes in right now, I will kill him. Woo! That one didn't hit. This is bad, man. That's gonna be. Uh, we could force either a kill there or we could take his R. Alright. Time to back off again. We could have technically forced him there we could have either had a kill or had his ultimate but my stun didn't hit and he got his shield like on the last second get time to get back the only problem about this build uh what i'm running right now is that we don't have the ability haste and we don't have the transcendence ability haste which means that we cannot stack uh my q's like off the start so if you're running this setup you have to go for warhammer and lucidity boots if you want to make this work you got to get them like as soon as possible otherwise you won't be able to queue properly around so i've got to keep that in mind oh i can't say the next one it's definitely okay if he if he backsports now I use my ignite for that reason. Because we could force down his TP right now and probably... Uh... Okay, good. Like, even if he backported now, even if he did, it would be fine. Like, because he, he would TP back to lane, he would lose that opportunity. And once again, we would get more farm. Actually cancel like one of my autos when I was fighting him too. He's going to TP right now. We're going to get back. All right. It's about time. We're going to buy Gorgink right now. We're going to go for the raw damage. So we can clear down the camp slot faster. Now one more thing guys. If you want to see the entire build that I'm using in this game. Uh, don't forget to check out the description below since I'll place it down there. Also, uh, Gubino, thank you for subbing. <laughs> thank you for subbing to the stream, man. Welcome to the sub family. Good to see you. Okay, one kill so far. There's a country war down there. It's pretty likely that Hakron could be coming topside right now. As long as he's missing from the map, we don't really want to fight Malphite. Could maybe go for a short trade in between. But it seems like he's getting pretty tanky now. He's going for... Uh, Steel caps. 
already. He's got about two ruby crystals as well, so he's pretty tanky right now. Okay. I don't want to get hit by his E and his W. I have to wait for my Ignite to come back, honestly. Nice. Uh, if he goes for me now, we could kill him. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going for the Q max now. I'm pretty sure of it. He ran super fast after uh, he, hit, he hit the one. No problem. That's fine. So far, we've got a roughly about a 35 CS lead over Malphite. And we've got my Ignite now back as well. Get this one. I'll get the Ruby Crystal. Good. Only one kill so far, unfortunately. Wish we could have had like more kills here. Let's take a look. That size is pretty fat though. It's got like eight kills. What is he gonna do? I want him to stay because that gives us the advantage. We already bought our items where he didn't buy them yet. He's also running out of mana. So if he backports now, I'm fine with that because it's gonna give us an advantage anyway. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to go for TP. He does not have TP anymore, which means he can't use that for his team. I'll see if I can go for Roman mid. Maybe pull something off. They're probably bait for me. Woo, he actually gets a solo kill on, on, on a Silas who has like nine kills. But couldn't finish it. Honestly, I'm I'm impressed. Like this, our really is standing two and eight. This guy's standing nine and two, and he actually nearly uh, like hundred to zeroed as Silas. I'll force him out. This is the boring part of playing in small fight. He just builds super tanky, and there's nothing you can do. You just have to accept uh, uh, the situation. He's going to stay for for the wave again. I'll see if I can get the control ward right now. Let's... Got it. Okay, he's forcing you. Malphite does not have R, so it's going to be a free kill. I want my team to go in there. Okay. Good. We forced Malphite's ultimate before. So he no longer had that in the fight. He was pretty useless. Great. This is very good. So I'm actually very glad that we went for the all-in with Ignite before. Because that actually gave us the opportunity to win this right now. I think it would have been very different if Malphite actually did have the ultimate. He could have probably pressed R on, on, on some of us. We have to get the turret now before he comes back. I'll just rush it as quickly as I can. Nice. Perfect. Getting out of this lane right now. He's going to come back with R. So we have to make this super fast. Yeah. I cannot even get the cannon. He already got back. It's about 50 minutes in the game. So the platings are completely gone right now. I will go back to base here. Get the Gorchinker. And then I'll probably go mid lane. I'm going to pressure out mid. And then see what our next step is going to be. Because there seems to be like a massive fight down there. Maybe I can clean up something. Hacker is going to walk. Right here. Okay, no vision. 
There's no vision here either. I got this guy. Morphite's also down here. Okay. I got them both. Double buff from, from Hecarim. I'll be farming out bot lane right now if my bot lane allows it. Nice. We've got four kills now. We got a 40 CS lead over over Malphite. We're gonna push up to the turret right now. That's gonna get pushed into the turret. I actually wanna take the turret, but it's pretty risky, so I'll leave that the way it is. Uh, we're gonna backport now and buy the uh, Kino Gym. Or even more ability haste. Remember guys, if you play with this setup, you have to get ability haste. Uh, if you don't play with Transcendence at least. Seems like a massive fight's like going on down there. I don't think I can clean up anything. But I think I got him. <laughs> What a way to get a kill, honestly. <laughs> Quality. I don't have Ignite right now, though. I actually needed it here. I'm not- I don't really want to fight him. Just because I don't have Ignite right now. This guy has like 11 kills. He's got twice the size of me, so... I would rather not try, except when I had Ignite. That's why I think I should have hold it before. Good. We got him. Luckily, she didn't take the camp from me. Could probably take the kill. Nah, never mind. I want to, uh, I want to get deterred right now. Uh, Samurai's top side. Okay. She takes the whole wave. I'm fine with that, honestly. Go ahead. Mulfight's top side with Elastar and Samurai. Hakram is mid lane. I'll see if I can take another wave. We know exactly where people are. So. Hakarim, uh, we shouldn't underestimate him. He's pretty strong. If he, if he walks up like this, it's pretty certain that someone else is here too. Hakarims don't do that. Hmm. Could probably force something in mid. Hecarim uses R. Oh, she's pretty tanky. Wow, she's honestly so tanky. What? She builds plated steel caps. Ah, oh, right. Of course, of course. I was already wondering, like, what makes her so tanky here, but now it makes perfect sense. What is he gonna do? Okay. Let's go back. We're going to buy uh, Black Lever now, and then I will probably get a Death Stance afterwards. And Death Stance... Get some armor as well. Actually, I should have I should have gone for Executor for Silas. Uh, whatever. We have Ignite that stops the healing from Silas too, so it's not too bad. Goose too is thank you for uh thank you for using your sub prime, man. Thank you for subbing to the stream. What's he gonna do? 
We have Ignite. He's never going to win this one. Actually. Well. They actually made a pretty fair chance. Uh, too bad. To be honest, I thought they were going to win pretty hard. Hopefully they don't go Baron now. Oh, they took that one too. They might be coming topside for Baron right now. I think. What's he gonna do? So they're pushing mid lane. My team is about to spawn right now. There's three of them in mid lane. So if I go backward right now, whether I backward or not, it's not gonna make a difference. Ooh, looks pretty good. I have to push since I'm here now. If I back forward, whether I back forward now or not, it's not going to make a difference. I, I got to get the most out of it. I was uh, counting up like how many of them were mid lane. So this is worth it. You could sort of tell that my team was going to eventually take the kill down there. Based on uh, how many of them were mid. Good time to take this one. Hopefully we get Baron without problems. This will get pretty bad to be honest because Hecarim is down here. Okay. We should just continue. Woo. See you later. Oh, hopefully we get it. Nice. I was actually worried that Sidus was going to come in and uh, clean it up eventually. Let's take this one. Sidus might be here, though. Okay, time to back off. So, we're going to go back here. We have the option to buy... Executors now, but we're gonna go for death stance first just to complete that because it gives a pretty big uh, power spike Then we will go for chainsword afterwards for Silas, which will counter him. Luckily we have ignite which helps a lot Oh man, thank you so much for all the support guys DB's coming in five coming with five gifted subs and elf coming with a sub prime. Hey, thank you so much guys Thank you so much for all the support Hey, we got him. Ooh, he's healing a lot. Uh, we can chase down for him. Woo. Oh, okay. They turn. Honestly, I, d I expected someone to be here, but I did not expect their whole team to be, like, all around the corner. But, yeah, it's it's not really worth. Like, we were we were worth, like, a lot of gold in this game. Uh, we were actually worth, like, a thousand gold. So, despite trading kills here, like, it was obviously not worth it for us. I'm actually going to go with this item here. We, we need this. I mean, these guys are getting pretty tanky right now. Got my flash coming in like 40 seconds, so... Let's go back top. Dragon spawns within like 1 minute and 20. So... As soon as it spawns, we have flash up. We can make a really huge play. I'm actually thinking about just jumping on Samuro Silas and instantly killing them. We'll see. This guy is also coming top to farm out, where it seems. We're actually like having like a 2 level lead. So far. Okay. Dragon spawns within 50 seconds. They're all grouping mid lane right now. I'm actually going to group mid lane too. I think that there's going to be a massive fight coming like in like any time now. So. The enemy team is baiting for a fight. As you can see by their position. Woo. 
Actually, I wasn't even able to press one ability. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the game here. Yeah, it's probably going to be the game. Interesting. Not gonna lie. Like, this game was honestly... I'm literally like 90 CS ahead in this game. We've managed to stop a Silas from getting overly fed. Uh, despite the way how it looks. My team is literally stacking 13 deaths, 11 deaths, 8 deaths, and my, my like my, my blitz. I mean... Look, my, my entire team has been incredibly far behind. I think we could have honestly won this game though, not gonna lie. Uh, if if they only play a slightly different. Okay, let's take a look at the damage that we've done in this game, guys. Let's take a look. See what happened. Oh, so unfortunate, man. Alright, let's take, take a look at the damage that we've done. Honestly, I think we could probably get the most damage done after Carter's, probably. Oh, clients being slow as usual. Okay, for the setup, we've been, uh, I mean, for the damage, we've done a total of 17k damage. For the runes, this is uh, the setup that I've been running in this game. Honestly, guys, if you're looking for that for that build uh, to make your lane, like, really strong, you should probably go with this build. It's the best you can go for. Uh, but either way, this game was being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, check out the link in the description. But uh, thank you for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.